Welcome, welcome, welcome. I feel remiss to do this introduction because I'm sitting next to somebody who does introductions a thousand times better than I do. This is the 116 Life on Holy Culture Radio, Sirius Channel 154. I'm smiling from ear to ear because I'm with my homie, the amazing Mia Evans. Yo. Oh, man. I'm in the building with Ace of 116 Life, man. I feel special. I, I feel mean, special for real. You've done a few, but we haven't done one together yet. No, yo, we haven't. Ace, you've done such a great job. Oh, hosting thank you. for real. Thank you. Thank for real. You. From one host to another. Like I got I got I, I gotta give credit where it's due. I mean, I'm just discovering new gifts, you know. You know, at, <laughs> at one point I was a co-host, then I became a host yeah. uh, either involuntarily. You just here for the ride. Shout out Reach Records, shout out Holy Culture Radio, <laughs> shout out Matt, shout out everybody. No, nah, this is y'all, you got you got the gift of gab. You got the radio thing on on Smash. Like this is what you do, you know. Man, I mean, you know, uh shout out to 10 years, man. I'm grateful for everything that I've been able to grab within that time. Cause listen, starting out year one, it wasn't like that. Oh, we got we got to get like in, we got to get in. You, you like you like the um you like CHH is like Oprah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's how I see you. Wow, Killing man. It, you know? Interviews, wow. professionalism, appreciate gracious, that. That's all a that. compliment, man, for I, real. I don't, I don't give those you. out um, you know, loosely. So yeah, you should No, you, you thank should, you for that. Yo, special. for real. <laughs> man, I should, if I if the I'm just waiting for the bank account line up, you know, then we in business. Then hey, I'm really Oprah. I think me and you are you really know? similar. I feel like people ask me what's my love language. I'm like Making money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, shout out no, to yeah. that scripture, the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah, yeah, Ain't no wrong with getting it, it's just loving Ain't it. Ain't no wrong right? with getting it. No, for sure. No, for sure. Facts, facts. God is, God is a, uh, and, and, and he endorses my direct deposits. So shout out residual income. Mm, but I real. mean, for you, like, I, I feel you, like, doing the gift is great, but making money is a whole other thing. No, right? if you listen, man, <laughs> you have, that's what puts a whole other smile on your face. You're a whole other type of grateful. For, you know, for real, it's a whole other type of grateful. <laughs> no, it's funny. Like, I'm around so many creatives that, um, have great gifts and they do things and when you're around creatives who like can monetize some of their giftings it's just a different like it's a different no, and when the Lord allows space for that to happen for sure because you know we, maybe you can speak into this I know the, some people are gifted to do it out of the joyness of their gifting and to bless other people not mm -hmm. necessarily for the monetization of it as a career mm -hmm. which is kind of like tough for some people I mean what, what are your thoughts on that? No um, I think for sure to, at first, I was kind of, I wouldn't say raised, but taught in the sense of that, like, you know, ministry, like, you know, it's, it's all for ministry. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, mm -hmm. don't worry about the money because God's going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. So I went, when it first came into me doing Eminem Live Radio, uh, my radio podcast, mm -hmm. and we would get hosting gigs, I wouldn't know what to say for a price. I would feel bad, honestly, like, mm -hmm. you know, like it's giving an initial price, but um, knowing that you can get paid for what you do. Yeah. The honesty that God comes through, you he know does, what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, if he gives you, if he gives you a gift, he'll provide for that. Like for he'll sure. provision for that for sure. And so I'll even say lately being able to benefit monetarily yeah. Yeah. from those gifts, man, like mm. it's, 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 it's a whole nother type of blessing because not only do I get a chance to do mm -hmm. not even what I love but what I'm experienced in right. but even be able to benefit the financial part of it is yeah. like, it, it, it it's true it's truly a blessing like the the level of gratitude i have for that there's already one thing to do it but right. then you be able to get compensated sure. for it and for other people got to place people in your path for him to see like your value is right. is a whole nother thing that's amazing i mean yeah for shout out shout out to all i'm sure we have a lot of um guests or fans and people who view who view this program who we have a lot of like creatives in the christian space no for real that's like i feel like oh if we could just Quantify our like reach records one one six life audience. I'm like, how many people make music? How many people are yeah, uh, yeah. you know in videography, yeah, photography, photography, all that, engineering, um, yeah. And then how many people make a living off of it? <laughs> no, listen, listen. It's, you, it's, I'm, I'm grateful, and I yeah. just I just praise the Lord that nah, He's real. allowed us to have space mm -hmm. to do this Facts. because not every that's not everybody's purpose. God doesn't purpose everybody to do it at a level mm -hmm. where you can actually make a living. Yeah. So, um, speaking of you, um. For those who don't know, uh, Mia Evans, the amazing host, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, media platform, all that, so many titles to name, too many. Tell the people who are you, Okay. what you do, where okay. you're from, a little bit of backstory. And we're going to get into some more, but I just okay, get to the people who've been like sleeping to wake up a little bit. Okay, okay. So um, I'm Mia Evans. I'm 26 years old. I'm originally from, I was originally born in Newport News, Virginia, but I've been in Georgia for like the past like 21 years. So this is home. Okay. Um, I have a radio podcast called Eminem Live Radio that mm. I've been doing for 
in September, as of 10 years officially, 10 years? I started, we started when we, I was 15 years old. My sister Misa, shout out to her, she was 17 years old. And we were, um, we were in high school at the time. I was a freshman and I think she was a sophomore. And you know, we're like coming home from school and you know, on the radio, uh, shout out Praise 1025, 1029, uh, they were playing Let the Church Say Amen. I think okay. Andre Crouch, I believe is the, oh, the yeah. singer. I, lo I love that song. Yeah, by yeah. The way. And, and, and like traditional gospel song, iconic. You know what right. I'm saying? At the time though, with us being 15 and 17, that didn't like relate to us. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, let the church say, oh, yeah, what does that mean? You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like thinking like as yeah. as a Christian teenager at the time, sure. like you know, I wanted to listen to like you know mainstream music. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Nikki but like you know, my mom, my mom's driving, so she got in charge. She's in charge of like the radio and stuff like that. So my sister's <laughs> my sister's so passionate. She's like going off in the back, like oh, but man, we need we need more music like this. Like, like why don't we hear anything playing like this? Like we like we like. And so casually to her, I say. You know, there should be a radio show geared towards teens and young adults where they have the morally sound music for us as believers. But, you know, there's the, you know, instrumentals and like, you know, things that mainstream music has where that's that medium. There should be a show like that. That's amazing. And she was like, yeah, that's we so should do that. And yeah, I was you, like, she, she being your mom or your no, sister? No, my sister, okay, my sister okay. Misa. And she was like, yeah, we should do that. And I'm kind of looking at her like, okay like I'm, I'm like, I, I was truly yeah. just like not thinking anything of it but when Misa and I kind of get dreaming like we kind of like just kind of start going this we start like talking about like if we were to have a show what would it be called like what would the names be like well if we had segments what would it sound like and we really started to like go there right. and we told our mom the idea we said like mom we got this idea to do right. Eminem live radio like what do you think and she was like that's a great idea now I don't know anything about radio but you know just Write the vision, make it plain, write everything down you want and, you know, keep it to the side. We'll see where everything goes. A year later, mind you, the only person we ever told was my mom. Wow. A year later at the church we were at at the time, someone pro approaches my mom out of nowhere and is like, hey, how you doing, sister? Listen, I, I know someone who has a radio station who's looking for some shows to go on the air. If you happen to know anyone who's looking to be on the wow. radio, just here's, here's the car for the general manager of the station. Give them a call and, you know, see what they can make happen. At the time, it didn't hit my mom until she told Misa and I. And we're kind of like, yo, like, are you kidding me? So long story short, um, September 22nd of 2013 was our very first show. We were on wow. uh, WIGO, WIGO 1570 AM. And um, we were there for about four years. And then our demographic was move, we, we the demographic we were serving at the time well that we do serve we realized was shifting to podcasting like you know podcasts were kind of like growing at the time yeah. and my uh my brother-in-law an engineer he was like you know we should probably move to the podcasting arena because realistically like no teen young adults listening to am radio you know what i'm no, saying like we, just realistically we, they're not listening to fm radio exactly you, you know, know what i'm saying like you know i feel like radio's not dying but it's evolving you know what i'm saying sure. so we ended okay. up moving uh to the uh, podcasting platform, okay. keeping the radio format of our show, playing music and right. things like that. And then we ended up moving to podcasting where we we'll be able to push it to more people, be able to know our listenership, build a following, a consistent, genuine following. So we've just been doing that um, ever since. And then of course, within all that doing, uh, you know, hosting events and like, you know, doing red carpet events like the Dove Awards and like Stellars and, you know, um, being able to meet it. some amazing people along the way, like, you know, friends within the whole CHH genre. So I've only been, I've only been in CHH for as long as I've been doing, no, honestly knowing about CHH as long as I've been doing Eminem live radio. Oh. So for the past 10 years, like I was, we were looking for artists to play and the church I came up from was very, uh, really pushed their youth for Okay. real like so like we had like artists and things like that like in our youth ministry right. so we were just playing like them I grew up on Kenton Jones shout out to the Kenton goat Jones. Kenton Jones K man K -Jo. like K That's Joe amazing. man listen I, I I know K Joe you know what I'm saying like I go way way back oh, really? so we were playing you um, was tapped in Kingdom Business King, no, man Access to. Granted 20 okay. years 3 months 12 days don't get me started I know these albums by Ken. so we were playing just their music and then I was kind of curious like I mean what else is out there mm -hmm. and then my mom <laughs> my mom could she was trying to play as like you know our executive producer at the time so trying to like help us like you know find music 
And she was like, have y'all heard of this guy? Have y'all heard this? Listen to the song. It's called Young by Andy Minio. And I was kind of like, oh, well, this is dope. I'm like, you signed to this label called Reach Records. And then we started diving Come into. On. Your mom put you on Reach Records? My mom. Yo. My mom put me on to Reach Records. So then oh, at the time, I think crazy. gravity was going crazy until the world was being on the radio. So like, you know. Yeah, it, like, was, it was on the radio. In, right. In Atlanta. I remember. Yeah, yeah. So then like that's when like, you know, I dove into Cray and Trip and like the whole roster and then started diving into, okay, so then I look at their music and songs I was like okay well who's this person that's featured on let me dive into their music so then I, that's when I really started diving into the whole CHH oh. scene so as long as I've been doing Eminem live radio that's as long as I've known about even Christian the whole hip-hop. CHH space how, how did your mom become aware of Andy Mini on Reach Records to even so, sorry sorry, that's a flex for your mama I it's lie. a flex I can't <laughs> lie to you because I if, honestly without her I, I probably would have maybe I would have been tapped in yeah. but I would have I would be late in the late, game late, for yeah, sure yeah. Like, Yo, you, yeah so what what was it about her access that kind of like allowed her to even know about it to put you onto it I think I think my mom just typed in Google Christian hip hop, if I can be real honest with you. And then like, you know, you get then just kind of diving into things. I don't know what made her even I need to really ask her that for yeah, sure. Cause like, out. Cause shout, shout out search engine optimization. Listen, for Cause, sure. Cause it brought you it brought you to to, to the right space. You yeah, know, for sure. Dope. Cause I I need to ask her that, but I'm pretty sure she just kinda like Googled it and then was just like listening to stuff and then she came across Andy at the time. Right. And then so she just was just like she was she came in like wide eyed. It was like, Have you heard this? And I was kinda like Mom, who are you about to play for me right now? And when it was actually something like hidden, I yeah. was like, Oh wow. So this is this actually a whole world for right. this. And did you did you like well, I know you kind of said you kind of alluded to the fact. Did you guys just not gravitate to like traditional gospel music at the time? No, at no, that no, age? no. So, so we were. I grew up in church, genuinely. So okay. I, I'm, I know, like you know, like I'm. Kirk Franklin raised me, even though he's not traditional. But you know what I'm yes, saying. Yes. But like even also like yes. my, okay. um, my I. I grew up on gospel music, you know what I'm saying? So like my mom always had Praise 1025 playing, you know what I'm saying? And um, my dad sang in the choir, you know what I'm saying? So okay. we had to be at church at seven in the morning, you know, like, you know, listening to the choir where he sang at. But um, so I, I just think at the at the time we just, and also there, the uh, Misa and I were very involved in our youth ministry. So our youth ministry, they had like a, a recording studio and our wow. youth pastor, shout out to um, uh, Pastor Michael Owens. He, uh, our youth ministry was called Big Student Ministries at the time. And we had, there were so many, they really pushed us to do things big, which was the basis of like our whole youth ministry, which was like music. So they were like, you know, we would have performances at church, like, you know, they would do praise and worship. Then we also have like, you know, our very own on stage, like doing a rap song That's and so things dope. like that. So I knew it was out there. Um, it was possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I knew that there was also a traditional space, right. but there was even, God was even making way and making hits in hip hop as well. No, that's super dope that you, you had access to like a dope youth pastor, a yeah, thriving yeah. youth ministry yeah. and a mom who was like putting you on Christian hip hop. No, listen, <laughs> all the, that's a big three. That's a big, because <laughs> if you had right this there. like ecosystem yeah. that's like, you know, appealing to your youthful, um, yeah, to, to appeal to y'all's youth and, and, and allowing you guys to see the Lord in a different way. Yeah. Um, on, the, on the next segment, I would love to dive even deeper into like your family, your okay. upbringing, and okay. hear more about, you know, the Mia Evans story. You know I what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you, you, you definitely have d- done a lot. I mean, 10 years is a long time. First it, of all, congratulations. That's Thank amazing. You, bro. That's Thank amazing. You. But there's got to be something that I think people would want to hear. Like, how did it even. How did you even have that thought to get here? So mm. um, stay tuned. This is the 116 Life on Holy Culture Radio, uh, Sirius Channel 154. I'm here with Mia. I'm your host, Ace Harris. Be back soon, y'all. Welcome, welcome back. This is the 116 Life on Holy Culture Radio, Sirius Channel 154. I'm your host, Ace Harris, here with the amazing... Mia Evans. Yeah, the real radio host on this on this, on this platform. <laughs> Don't even do that, man. <laughs> We're doing it. We, we are definitely going there. We're, this, this, is not, this is not gas. This is, all, this is all facts. This is all truth. Well, definitely, uh, I'm getting to know more about you. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, we've known each other for some time, but just, mm-hmm. just hearing your true story and all the things you like put your hands to and mm-hmm. develop is super amazing and, and fresh. But I want to hear a little bit more about your upbringing. You guys yeah. are from Virginia. Why did you move to Georgia? Mm-hmm. Like, are you guys, like, are your parents just had you in the church? Here, tell me a little bit about what it looked like growing up in the Evans household. So, growing up in the Evans household. So, we, my my parents met in Virginia, but um, as soon as I was born, we kind of moved to Arkansas. Because um, mm. my grandparents were living there, my mom's parents at the time. Okay. And, um, I, ho- I hope I'm remembering this correctly, but my, my dad 
grew up in Georgia. Okay. And um, we were, of course, they were living in Arkansas, and my dad wanted to start, a, he wanted to start a landscaping business. So he was like, um, my mom, he calls Chris, her name is Crystal, he calls Chris. She said, um, I, Chris, I, I want to be an entrepreneur. Mm. And my mom is from like South Side Chicago, you know what I'm saying? So my mom was like, who does that? <laughs> you know oh, what I'm word. saying? So, okay. um, so he knew that he um, had a connection down here when it came to landscaping. Right. So then we came down here. Then also, um, luckily, the church, my my mom wa- uh, was following a church at the time. So therefore, the church that she was listening to was also in Georgia. So, oh, wow. so it was kind of like a, a win-win in a case. So okay. she felt comfortable in so that case. So your mom, she was, she was like... Trusting your dad, to, no, for real, to like, take that leap of faith, for real. So we ended up moving here, what, and then here being what part of Georgia? What part of Georgia were y'all in? So I've always been on. Okay, so you know there's the South Side of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I live south of of, of Atlanta, meaning South Side is still like metro. Like you still like what, like 15, 20 minutes right. from the city. Hey, so I've always been like a smooth 30, 40 minutes no, from the city. What, what, what? So I, I started out in Ellenwood. Okay. In Ellenwood, Georgia, okay. and okay. then we we migrated to Henry County, which is where we've been a majority of my okay, life. So, okay, so Henry County, so I stay in like McDonough, Stockbridge, oh, yeah. the Just areas like that. You know That's what I'm saying? Very good, like suburban family very, very good like I, i'm not gonna i love where i grew up it was very wholesome like you know yeah, nothing yeah. crazy really happened you know what i'm saying so i, I loved where i grew up so it's kind of changing now though but it's all good no it's just, <laughs> um, you know what i'm saying hey, see the prayer for uh mcdonough you uh, pray up for henco please <laughs> henco Hen- turned into please. clayco listen for real that's why i say that seriously for real no nah, we, we could talk hours about that so so you guys were in like um henry county mm-hmm. Uh, what, what what was your relationship with the like? Obviously, your parents. I'm I'm sure were from the church in the church. What led yeah. you guys to like? What led you to find the Lord? You know what I'm saying? Um, so. And my, did, did you find them young, or was it? Because I found them young. Okay, I found them young, and I, my mom found found God later and my dad grew up in church. Okay. Um, but my mom, I, I, my mom then started de- developing a relationship with God, uh, gotcha. as soon, like, I think maybe like in her, I would want to say her twenties okay. or so. Okay. So my mom really kept us in church, you know, things like that. So my mom was very like, you know, she, Wednesday, we were at Wednesday service. Sunday, we were at church. It was no debate. My dad sang in the choir. We had to be up seven o'clock for, you know, mm. things like that. So um, I always grew, I always had a, a hand in the church. I sang on the praise team growing up and choir, okay. things like that. So, so, you, so you can hold a note or two? I can hold a note, Ace. I can hold a note. Don't ask me to belt out nothing. What about better? Can the note... Can you, can you is it better than hold a note or just hold it I can sing happy birthday okay that's you it. know I can I can it, it, I, my voice don't crack I'm grateful okay. for that at least I can hold it down happy birthday <laughs> me is like don't ask me to come <laughs> yeah. to no background listen for man y'all. for I'm real chilling. um but so I've, I've always had my relationship with God and then I think even uh my relationship with God so, so I think honestly started to just grow over time right. I, I had a I, I'm really happy with the experience I had sure. as a kid you know like my my children's ministry was just really like you know involved and of course with me singing in the choir and things like that and then I, it elevated when I went to my youth ministry mm. and I was very involved because I was writing at the time like mm. you know uh, I was a writer and then even like you writer know, acting of what, as well of what is exactly? um like screenwriting so oh, um, I, I, I grew up a screenwriter and things like oh, that okay. so do you still do that not as much as I want to. I wish I could. I'm wishing is not a strategy. You're you right. You can do it. You're right. And, uh, but uh, I, but we'll, because we'll, we'll talk about okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But, um, but I, I see a lot of giftings in you. You know. You know thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. Continue. But but um my we uh, our youth ministry also had a theater company. So like you know they they, they really generated Man, all of our. Where gifts. was this church? When I was no, coming. listen. My youth pastor, like my the, my youth pastor mm. at the time, uh, Minister Mike. He was mm. he really drove us to be the best. Like the, the our whole the volunteers at our youth ministry and everything oh, like that. Gosh. So like with acting, they they gave us like you know with modeling, rapping. They really pushed all of us. So when it came to me being a writer, me wanting to act, me, um, Misa at the time, that's where Misa really developed to be a host. And then like, I was able to see her host. So she had experience in that, but, um, I was kind of, mm. I was budding at the time. Cause, um, like I said, I had an older sister and I really felt like I was in her shadow a lot. Really? Cause, um, we had the same gifting, like me, like my sister also writes and acts. Um, and she also hosts and she has this like, you no know, real bigger than life personality. And I was still kind of like, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of quirky, I'm kind of silly, I'm kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? So I was kind of, I wasn't sure how to like mm. present myself um, in a way that, I would think I was really focused on trying to be liked and mm. pleased by people and mm. to stand out from my sister. Mm. But I knew I wanted to because I felt like I was falling in the shadows. People would literally say, hey Misa, 
hey, Misa's sister. And I was just kind of, oh. it, it, it just, just how, bugged how that, me. How'd that make you feel? Terrible. Uh, <laughs> I hated it. Just yeah. because I wanted to have my own sense of identity. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that was important. I, I, I loved, uh, I had friends, you know what I'm saying? And I had a personality, but when it came to people who I just didn't know, or just like, just in general, I just kind of fell in the background and kind of like, you know, stay, I, I, I won't lie. I, I think I even stayed in my sister's shadow just because it was comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So, and so even when it came to me writing and acting, I wanted to, but it's just the fact that I just, felt like I just couldn't get like bigger roles or I, I had to do like the small parts and things like that or I had to do it with Misa and oh. it would make me feel more comfortable Ooh. but not all the way so um I think for sure for me when it came to even me being developing my relationship with God yeah um for sure God has truly even walked me through even like within these past couple of years just confidence yeah. you know what I'm saying like you know I mean, a it's, sense it's, of it's identity oozes out of you thank you bro thank but you, you. But, you, but listen it's it's a miracle you know, like <laughs> if, if you knew who I was right. even three years ago right. you know what I'm saying like right. being able to fully showcase who I am is I'm I'm very proud and I'm, I'll put it like this I'm grateful to God Child truly God. truly because yeah. I would not be confident who I am today mm. if it was not for the even the the beginning parts of me growing my relationship with him to me now being in my 20s being able to lean on him as a rock for when it comes to who I am like you know internally being able to bring that out that's amazing what what was the moment that you knew that um yo I got I can do my own thing like I mean, either with my sister or even not without her but I can be Mia Evans and because I mean you know Obviously, you know, first of all, your, your youth pastor is investing in the youth. Shout mm -hmm. out to youth pastor. That's mm -hmm. amazing. No, for real. For um, real. We can do a whole segment on. On how essential they are. Yes. Yeah. And, and a, a segment on how people have had a bad experience in no, youth for ministry. Sure. Yeah. And I, what I'm hearing is like a great experience. Yeah. Which seems to be a really important fiber in your walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, but talk about the moment when you were like, you know what? I think I'm going to pursue either being a host or like, uh, uh, like what was the moment that you felt confident enough to like? Jump into your own skin and doing it. You know what I'm saying? Honestly? Yeah. Not until like the past year or so. Wow. Genuinely. Wow. I, with, there, there's been a lot of changes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, with, um, my sister and I are din our dynamic, and I bring up her. I bring her up a lot only because we are close. Yeah, close. Yeah, you're and, like, and we also do. Not well, only are we sisters, but you know we're we're co-hosts as well. Like you know, with like you know Eminem Live Radio hosting things like that, and like you know, my sister got married. You know, she has two beautiful girls now, you're and so auntie. like you know, I'm an auntie, which I love, man. Mm. And things have changed. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, honestly, yo, God told me. I think this was last year. Hmm. He was like, I want you to get used to doing things without your sister. And I was like, why, Lord? <laughs> like, because, you know, I'm, you. I'm so used to it. You know, I'm so, I'm so used to doing things side by side. You know wow. what I'm saying? And it gave me a sense of, uh, it made me more sure of myself. But, um, oh, man, yeah. shout out to my, my friend in real life, Portia Love. Portia um, Love. And she, she's, she's so phenomenal. She's and cause, an encourager. Cause she, and truly, because when I was going through things like that, just talking to her about yeah. it, and she was like, well, God wants you to know that when you host by yourself, when you do interviews by yourself, when you do anything in related to media, anything like that, um, entertainment by yourself, mm. he, God wants you to know it wasn't because of Misa. It wasn't because of you. It was because of him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and that I, I, it really, it's been a walk. I'm not going to lie to you because sure. at, it's it's given me. I gotta stand ten toes down, being me. Yeah. But like at the end of, at the end of every single show, I say, be yourself like you mean it, which means to unapologetically, without a doubt, but without thinking about it, be you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you loud, be loud. If you quirky, <laughs> be quirky. If you shy, be shy. If you weird, be that. You know what I'm saying? So. I had to live up to that. You know what I'm saying? I had to make sure I could stand right. in being me, solely me, just me. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's so good. I think that's re refreshing. Um, just to hear you walk into that and come into that and, and just grow into your own space. I mean, I, I can relate a little bit uh, when I was, and, and that's, this is not to point it to me, but if I can encourage it, no, the yeah, story yeah, may yeah, be yeah, helpful. Yeah. I, I was in a um, Christian hip hop group many years ago. Do not Google it, but. Whoa, was, you know, Ace, he was on the mic. <laughs> I was on the mic. I, I, you know, everybody in the music business, it works at record label. Yeah, yeah. 
like eighty percent of them have either recorded, written, performed a song at one point in time. It's just, okay, got I mean, you. I'm, got I'm you. gonna have everybody from the office side bring all their old demos. No, <laughs> we'll you a, should. We had to do a playback. No, for real. <laughs> and then we're streaming on live, yeah, so yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all can judge it if whether it was good. But I remember as a part, I was part of a group and I was part of a production partner. Shout out my boy uh, Motown and Marlon Montgomery. Mm. That's my dog. And we, we from like. Uh, freshman year of college from making music to finding the Lord to making music for the Lord to being producers only to starting a Christian hip hop group from going almost 10 years in Mm -hmm. placements Universal Music Group Rock City all these things and realizing that when he started dating his then now wife then fiance Mm -hmm. he had to kind of like he just felt called called to like step away Mm -hmm. and I remember he was kind of like the front person yeah so my homie Sam Collier Sam, yeah, shout was, out to was Sam. Was around during that time. Yeah, he, yeah. he made a comment. He was like, "Hey, so I didn't know because I was, I was like the for lack of a better words, I was like Pippin." Yeah, got you. Know you. What I'm yeah, yeah, I was Robin, and I was right. comfortable being Robin. Right, right, yeah. And then when Batman was like, "All right, bro, I'm about to you know get married and get settled." Yeah, I was like, "So <laughs> what that mean for me?" <laughs> and it yeah. took a minute. So I, I just want to encourage you that sometimes God allows certain things to move on mm-hmm. so He can um show you what was already inside of you that you just didn't know. Facts. No, you know for saying? sure. Thank and, and you for I, that. I feel like you're killing it. Um, yeah, I mean, we got so much to keep unpacking. I definitely want to get into not just you, the person, which we've covered, but I want to hear some of your perspective on the, the state of Christian hip-hop media oh, yeah. platform. I know you have a lot to offer on that No, side. for sure. No, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm saying? I mean, you're very nice and, and, and very like pleasant, but I think, I think there's some things that people would love to hear from you that okay, we got can you. help yeah, us yeah. get better in this space or whatever. So uh, let's stay tuned. This is the 116 Life on Holy Culture Radio, Sirius Channel 154. I'm your host. Actually, I'm your co-host, Ace Harris, here with... <laughs> Mia Evans. <laughs> We're going to keep doing this all, to, all this, this no, time. No, <laughs> facts. All right, we'll be right back, y'all. Welcome, welcome back. This is the 116 Life on Holy Culture Radio, Sirius Channel 154. I'm your... Old host here with the new old host. Ho- hey, when I tell you about <laughs> this host, mess I'm, just, I'm, now. I'm just I'm just recruiting Mia over here. You know, what I'm saying we we chilling <laughs> family vibes. Nah, it's um, definitely good to have you. Thank you. Um, man. Hearing your story, hearing your upbringing. I think it's all that stuff is so important. Mm. Um, shout out your your youth ministry, man, and your youth leader, and your parents. No, for real. I feel I'm like, very grateful, man. Man, you you have benefited from a. Uh, upbringing a family structure that I think has led you to be the person you are. No, for sure. And I yeah. think about some of the kids who just didn't have those type of healthy family structures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it seems like it's been a blessing that, for you to have that. Speaking of which, um, talking about, you know, we this is the 116 Life, faith, culture, music. We're trying to do our little radio podcast thing. We're trying to get like mm-hmm. y'all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> man, y'all doing it for sure. <laughs> How do you feel about the state of media, specifically the Christian hip hop? I, I, I know media. you. I know you've. Yes, yeah, the state of media. And then we can talk about the state of the. Music. I feel like it's grown. Okay. Over the past ten years, it's definitely grown. Because I want to say when I got into it, I looked up DJ Wado. I knew mm. about him. I knew about Track Stars. I knew about Rapzilla. That was it. Yeah. So now it's a lot of more outlets. Yeah. A lot of more personal and personalities, broadcasters, voices, and it's more diverse and it it's it's great. Like I know, like shout out Proper XL. I love Proper seeing their XL, stuff. Yeah. They're really fire. Cruise Hip Hop Corner. You know what I'm saying? Like like at, there's truly uh, a lot of different avenues right. um, for sure for media and it, it's it's great to see. I, I love that we're we're growing um, right. in a sense of diversity when it comes when it comes to media for sure. What what could like somebody? What could the industry or the you know the gatekeepers the change agents? What can they do better to allow for media to have more influence in our space? What's something that you feel like? Eh, so y'all can y'all can do this or do that because I, I know there's mm-hmm. there's been growth, but what's what's an opportunity for growth too? You know, I would say give us a chance for sure. Um, especially when it comes into the CHH space. Yeah. I've been to, I've, when you go to certain uh, events, yeah. when you have to fill out, you know, a form in order to be media there, like, you know, do interviews, do red carpet, right. things like that. And when it comes to the CHH space, I'm pretty sure like we're all, like we all know of each other. We kind of like hang in tight. So therefore like, we hold it in. But when it comes to things like uh, CCM and gospel, they really don't, 
give us much of a chance. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The same way how even when it comes to, they're kind of getting more familiar with even CHH even like, you know, they're yeah. learning, okay, there's more to Lecrae. There's more than Lecrae. There's more than KB. Yeah. There's, there are Juan Days, Portia Loves, like, you know, mm. Miles Minix, you know, RG, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so they're, they're getting more tapped in with us, um, which is good. I just wish that, I, I've been to events where I'm the only CHH platform and I'm, I don't, I'm not as treated as, um, I'm not given the red carpet treatment as the gospel platform, right. as the FM radio station and, and other outlets why, like that. Why, why, why do you think, what, what's the reason for that, you think? I, man, I, I really don't know. I wonder if it's because um, my, the people I interview right. or like, you know, the people who are in the space, maybe that because maybe they haven't heard of, sure. they don't take it seriously. Right. Or and even also, I would say look at talent. Yeah. I think too, yes, yeah, what it is. Thank you, God. That's what it is. Look at talent. I, I, there have been so many times when I've been at events. Oh, Ace, and I'm really? not. I'm not trying to say names. A, um, no, we, 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 we can keep it. You know, in big. In you big know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's I've I've been to events where I can't lie to you. Misa and I, even like just being on red carpet in general, I, I've I feel like we are great hosts interviewers track stars you know um so many other different people who are great interviewers right and the talent is there but because we're not twenty thousand followers because we're not fifty thousand followers right. things like that we're get as oh well you're not you're not serious and i would mm. personally to me i just look at the cream of the crop you know what i'm saying like i look at the quality opposed to like the quantity and like you know what like aesthetic and things look like that i've been to events where wanted to be on the red carpet, like wanted to do interviews, but like, oh no, but yet they have these major other platforms like CNN, Billboard, things like that, who their area is taking up the red carpet. They're not taking up their space. And honestly, Ace, they're not going to show up. You know what I'm saying? So, oh. but therefore you have someone like me who okay. knows okay. who's about to hit the carpet. Who's, it's not my first time being on a red right, carpet. Right, I right. know how to interview and I'm here. So, if you could give us the chance to be able to showcase what we're able to do, you may be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Like we're, I, I wish they would, would be able to give us an opportunity to be able to showcase that there are other yeah. um, interviewers out there. There are other media people and who are in CHH even um, also, but I, I wish that they would be able to give us a chance more when it comes That's to good. media. I mean, all, all I heard Mia said was, they was inviting CNN. CNN said well, we ain't gonna be able to make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's kind of like yeah, I, 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 not not dissing anything like that. It's just the fact that I feel like we. How are we gonna make room what? for other personality yeah. shows, platforms, really media good. outlets if you don't give us the opportunity? I think it's really good. I think sometimes you know spaces, people in power, or platform. Even sometimes, even for us at times, it's like we're looking at the next vertical thing to to pull us up or to mm -hmm. give us a platform or to connect with when really sometimes our strength is in numbers horizontally yeah it's it's like things like the summer playlist yeah it's things right. like Facts. this where it's like if we just band together some of the doors that we're trying to bust through mm -hmm. will be uh naturally kicked down because the strength in us connecting together is yeah. going to be a force that can that nobody can stop those yeah. doors can't stop and i, you know I, I want to be clear too sure. I, I wasn't looking for like a handout like sure. I'm, not, I'm not saying that because yeah. like I know for like one scenario I went to an award show mm -hmm. and they weren't trying to let us on the red carpet and um I truly well that's a whole nother story because mm -hmm. I, I went out there on faith in general you, and, you, and you, things you, like you got that on there anyway. yeah no, but, but listen but mm -hmm. I, we were trying to go on the carpet and my sister was like we going we gonna to do interviews anyway. And I'm like, well, what are we going to do? She's like, well, that's the carpet. We're going to report live from the concrete. And which, like, there was the red carpet and there was a concrete with the, everybody else going to the event. We started pulling random people, interviewing people. The person who was in charge of the red carpet was like, give them passes and let them do that on the red carpet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and I had, I had to, so in a way we had to just, if you won't let me, I just have to show you. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I think even in this space, a lot of media platforms are showing that they're capable of that's, doing, providing just great content when it comes to the space for sure. That's amazing. I, yeah, you guys are relentless. Man, listen, <laughs> we try. Relentless. I see. I've we seen try, you everywhere. man. Um, speaking of relentless, talk a little bit about being a woman, uh, a black woman. Mm -hmm. uh, what, are, what, is your what is your thoughts on women in Christian hip hop right now? Um, 
progress, lack mm-hmm. of progress, more needed, just random thoughts. What is your thoughts on the state of women in Christian hip hop right now? Man, we on the move, man. Holy girls up. I mean that wholeheartedly. I mean it wholeheartedly. And it makes me, uh, it makes me so happy, Ace. Uh, because I can, I, because I'm able to call people like Portia Wande, my, my friends for in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. Noah Wande when she was doing A&R here. And like, you know, Portia mm-hmm. before, like, you know, the, um, the takeoff of like, don't worry about it and things like that. Seeing beyond even the music, mm-hmm. they care so much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know, uh, I can say this because they're my friends, but like, you know, I, Portia and Wande care so much. Even also like they, they are really bringing in a lot of different women and it feels good to be seen. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. So being able to see them thrive and see be, me even be exposed to right. more women who are out here in the space who are killing, right. us, killing, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, it feels, it and even see, I'll, I'll even put it like this. It feels great to even see the guys show a lot of love. You know, like my, I'm not a rapper, so like I'm, I mean, I'm not even like in this, but I feel like I'm in this. You know mm. what I'm saying? So like, even see like you know, the guys be able to you know support, show love. You know, be, be bumping you know certain songs and different things, and being really outspoken and supportive when it comes to the yeah. Holy Girl movement. When it comes to women in CHH, it's so beautiful. We're truly making such amazing progress, so and good. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. Not even just next year, but like five years from now, because it's so promising, and we we're here. And like, you know, and, and we're, and we're not, we hard for real. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, like I said, I say we, and I'm not a rapper. You no, know what I'm you, saying? But you, it, you, it, you, you, you're part of the, you're you, part of the clique. I, I know so many, I've met so many fire, fire ace mm. who got bars, hits, man. And it, it's so dope to see that we can keep up and we running with the dudes just the way we run. It's like it, so it, the, there's been space made for us and it's so, it, I love it. I what, love it. What, what does it look like? You said um, for the first time, you said something that stood out. I, I want to call out something. You mm-hmm. said it feels good to be seen. Yeah. When, was, when was a moment when you felt like that was actually happening for you and, and, and some of, or maybe not just for you, maybe for other women where, where y'all felt like, yo, finally, yeah. someone sees what we're doing and contributing to this thing that's not just owned or operated just by the guys. Like I think I think it's been it's been a momentum of different things right. for sure. It's been Wanda getting signed. Mm. It was I remember when Wanda told told me when she was getting signed. I lost my mind with that. You know what I'm saying? And it was when Wanda got signed. It was when um, Got Over Money signed AI the Anomaly. It was when um, it was when Don't Worry About It went was went crazy. You know, for the playlist. It was it it was Portia doing Smoke Fest three years in a row. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. It's it's so it, it it's continuously a lot of other things. You right. know what I'm saying? Like it, it's 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 the it's the fact that it wasn't just one thing. Sure. It's the fact that it's been consistent. consistent. You know what I'm saying? If it was just like, okay, like, you know, the song came out, okay, great. And then that was it. If right. it was, if, even if now, if it was like, you know, oh, it's just this one right. artist, like she's like, you know how like, you know, at the time, like when Nicki Minaj came out, mm-hmm. it was Nicki for a long time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then like now we're all seeing like, you know, so many different artists and yeah. things like that. Like, you know, women being brought up in hip hop. If it was just, if it was like that, where it was kind of like, oh, we have one woman who's like you know the pinnacle we can't we're kind of looking for everybody else you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's it's the fact that it's been so consistent does it does it feel like there's more space for more than just one oh yeah okay. absolutely but it, it has has it not always felt like that in the past or or, or? i i feel like it's just been lack of exposure yeah I think they, I, I know for a fact that they've been there. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's just a fact that we just didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I think even support, support too. You know what I'm saying? So seeing the support of, you know, you guys here at Reach, seeing support of, um, I like, like I said, I, I, it, it's been really heartwarming seeing the guys be like, yeah. oh, yeah, sis, come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it feels great that to be able to see that nah, you guys have been able to uplift us you know what i'm saying shout us out spotlight us highlight us you know what i'm saying so therefore to be like oh yeah like i'm great but have you heard my sis over here you know what mm. i'm saying like it, that that's been yeah. that's definitely 
played a part. That's super dope. To me. I think there's still some more room um, for improvement yeah. and growth. But is but we have to continue to just amplify. Yeah, yeah. But the but the the growth it is 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 clear. You know, yeah. compared to where we were. 10 years ago, mm. and I can say that because I've been knowing the space since for the past 10 years, it's been, it, it's been substantial yeah, for I mean, sure. There's, there's, there's some more growth to be, let's just say. Let's yeah, just yeah, say, no, for just, sure. Let's say we're cooking over here. We're cooking. <laughs> no, facts, <laughs> for real. I heard, I was at Holy Summit, and I'm not going to say too much, but I heard a song uh, with uh, Portia, Juan Day, and these artists that y'all should know, uh, Queen Lee and TK Lee. And man, it's just it's it's just a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a Shout beautiful out thing. Queen Lee. Yeah, yeah, for she, sure. She's, she's a real one. Yeah. Um, what are your what are your thoughts and just advice for Christian hip hop in general? Um, things that you want to see more of, things that are going well in, in the mm. space. Um, you know, just just your just your like, hey, keep doing this. Yeah. Um, and, and also a way to encourage some of the artists doing it because I think obviously you work in media, you get you get a lot of requests. People are always trying to get to you and have you speak to mm. get interviews and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. What's something that our artists could benefit from hearing you say, like that, from encouragement in their career? What's something that you can say to uplift them? Um, to uplift the artist, um, man, that's a loaded one only because. <sighs> okay, I'll say this. Um, be. At, well, I'll say these two things really quick. I'll say be as creative as possible. Uh, I I love the creativity that's being pushed for so um, recently, for yeah. sure. Um, and I've, I've heard a lot of unique, different things. And I want to see more of that. You have certain people in okay. the space where they they stand out and things like that. And I feel like more of us could be able to... Um, more of us, more of them could be able to um, be elevated right. and be able to uh, see them in a different light. I feel like that sometimes you, you don't, I'm trying to find the, the right way to say this. I've heard a lot of different unique things like Super Duper Crunk Tape by Scooty Wop oh. and a lot of different unique things like Bodega by DJ Mike. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, and, a, that's really good You know examples. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, very creative ace you know yeah. what i'm saying and where you you had like miles you know what i'm saying like a, b- people being creative with how they're uh presenting music sure. and presenting themselves uh, we need more of that you okay. know what i'm saying like really don't be afraid to be able to think out the box and really go there because mainstream is doing it mainstream doing it and we have access to the most creative, the, the creator actually, That's good. and he, it's in you, it's in you. I like, you know I, what I'm I like, saying? I like how you. So for sure, I would say that. Mia, Mia said, "Y'all gotta get more creative." <laughs> no, I'm saying keep it going, keep it going, keep it but, going but and amplify afraid. it. Don't be That's afraid, good. man. That's good. I love that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this has been a great conversation. Is there anything else you wanted to leave people with, or just or if not, just where can they find you? Anything, any final thoughts yeah. on, on this conversation? Um, I would say, well, one one thing that I've learned um, within the past ten years of me doing this, and then even just like recently, it's just, and of course, I, mean, I we talked about this earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, just the the importance of just staying true to who God's got you made you to be. You know For what sure. I'm saying? And um, I don't care who you are and what you've done and what how you view yourself. Um, I pray that you view yourself the way God sees you, and the fact that mm. there's there's so much more on the inside of you, and to just stop shrinking yourself. Don't shrink yourself, and to be able to let God use you in the best light possible. So um, I, that's one thing that I, I could definitely want to leave people with. But if you want to be able to keep up with me um, or my show, man, Eminem Live Radio, <laughs> I've been doing that, man. Also, uh, so if you could follow us at Eminem live radio also i also um ha- have a hand in another show i produce um a great show that's my latest show the winter circle with one day aaron mm, and nage so right. if you want to follow the that uh platform that's wintercircle.brand if you want to follow me i'm at mia evans on everything that's m-e-a-h-e-v-a-n-s and yeah man i'm i'm very grateful i'm very grateful to be in in this space man thank you so much I love it. thank you so much mia for blessing us today with this amazing conversation and uh I think we'll be hearing more from you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Man, I hope so. Stay tuned. I hope so. <laughs> uh, this is the 116 Life on Holy Culture Radio Series Channel 154. Me and Mia signing off. See y'all next time.